All right, so I am um, charging my lithium batteries for the first time. So I got a pair of these Valance U27 12 XPs. So these are the uh, Group 27 uh, batteries used. They're 138 amp hour, so this is going to make up my bank. Right now, um, so what I did was buy this ten dollar uh, USB to RS four eighty five, or <clears throat> it's got an F FTDI or whatever chip in it um, that converts whatever input you have there to <clears throat> something readable. Excuse me. Um, and I actually just stuffed them in the plug, so. <laughs> Is marked out what was what and just stuffed them in there and it seems to be working fine. I'm gonna get a actual legit plug in for that eventually. Um, I also got my voltmeter plugged in here. This is actually a pretty accurate voltmeter, surprisingly for being a like a you know 30 cent thing, you know, but it actually works good. Um, so I'm using a Genius G15000. Uh, charger because it does have this lithium profile, which is pretty rad. Um, my little CK Tech did not, so uh, borrowing this from a friend. Um, and it's pretty cool. I'm watching the state of charge and uh, everything. I could check each cell. I can you can see the cell spread and everything. And if there's balancing, this is balancing inactive because it's actually charging so well. You don't does not require any balancing at this point which is a good sign I'm glad none of the uh, cells are coming out of balance while being charged at which at the current I don't know why it's a negative number but it's it's five I think that might be just like the positive number but they put a negative in there so um, like it's it's charging that's the charge rate if it didn't have a negative symbol it'd be the discharge rate but um so I just jumped up to 50 percent um and at you know five five amps maybe that's a like it's kind of like a it's got a charging profile this thing and i'm not sure exactly the curve and everything that it does but anyways finally charging so pretty stoked about that um it's kind of a convoluted thing here but does seem to work i love this software i love being able to read and see what's going on with the battery like it's so awesome balance batteries man for the win